Hey folks, I'm Carl with Portland Nursery. Today I'm going to be talking to you about basic houseplant propagation. Propagation is when you take a piece of a plant, cut it, you put it into a different medium to create the same plant. You watch it grow, and then all of a sudden you have two. It's a great way to, uh, you know, if you love a plant you have at home, make another one or share with a friend or family member. So let's go into the basic anatomy of a plant. You're going to have few, uh, there's more than these parts, but these are the basic ones you need to know about. It's going to be the stem, the node, and off the node is the petiole, which leads the leaf, and then in between the nodes is the internode. So when you cut, you're going to cut right below the node, and that's where the new growth is going to form. Now when it comes to certain plants like snake plants or jade plants, you can do leaf cuttings. You can just take the leaf, do one clean cut, and then you're ready to propagate it. So now let's talk about uh, different mediums to propagate it. Uh, basic ones are going to be water, uh, soil, sphagnum moss, or perlite. You're going to want something that has a lot of good aeration because that's really going to help the roots grow and not get all soggy and horrible. So. Once you have your separate plants in their medium, there's a great way to promote your root, root growth, uh, which is uh, rooting powder, very easy to use. You take the cutting and just put it in the powder and then put it in the medium. There's rooting gel, which is the same concept. And then there's also a liquid rooting hormone, which works the same. Personally, I like to use water and I put a splash of bone meal in there because it's pretty cost effective and it really works well. I've had it work perfectly for all the plants I've propagated. So once you have your stuff and it, you see root growth, this is why I like to use water because you can actually see the growths or the, the roots grow. You want to make sure that they're at least over an inch long before you actually transfer it into soil. So something like this right here. You don't want to put in too big of a pot, this is going to be too big for it, something smaller. You're going to want to plant it down and cover the roots completely. And when it comes to a cutting like a Sansevieria plant, you're going to want to go at least to two inches into the dirt and make sure it gets established really well. So certain plants like a uh, string of hearts and string of pearls are very easy to propagate. You don't need to wait for root growth. You can just snip it right under the node and pop it right into the dirt. You still want to go a little bit down just so you can get it established and make sure that it stays in there. And then you let it go. I've done this with multiple plants, just tiny little cuttings and now they're very, very long. As long as you give them sunlight, give them enough water, they'll start growing for you. So again, this is just a basic crash course on propagation. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always visit portlandnursery.com. Come in or give us a call. We're always happy to help. I hope you start propagating yourself, and uh, we'd love to know how it turns out.